Lastly, we've got our reflective essay. Ons reflectivo op stel. So it focuses on your personal experiences and how they have shaped your thoughts or they have changed you. It's forced you to think about things a bit differently. It explores the lessons that you've learned and the insights that you've gained, or maybe the growth that you've experienced, how you've changed as an individual and how certain situations or certain circumstances have forced some personal growth. It's written in the first person, like it's all about you, I, me, mine. It's introspective, it's thinking, and it's it's thoughtful. It's philosophical almost. And you describe events clearly as they are, but you focus a bit more on what the event meant to you, the significance of it all. And your tone, it should be honest, reflective, and you need to be very self-aware here. How has this event changed your life for the better, for the worst? What personal growth has it forced? Would you have been better off if you just didn't attend this event or if this event didn't happen? And you show your thoughts, your emotions, and you also display your maturity and emotional intelligence here and how you've evolved over time because of that one thing. So like I say in all these videos, well, all four of them, it follows the same structure, right? So your typical essay structure, your intro, body, and conclusion, and we've got three bodies. That three looks looks terrible, really. It's so bad. Oh my God, that looks even worse. Look, that's a three though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's go with that. So for example, just a bit about my life story. I was born in Derbs, nice little chill area called, called Pine Town. Very multicultural, had an awesome childhood. And yeah, my parents are divorced. And so in the middle of my grade 11 year, uh, my mom's husband, so my stepdad, he moved from Durban to Johannesburg to start a business. My mom followed suit, she moved as well. And you know, I had a bit of a sense of adventure in me, wanted to move to Igoli, Joburg. And yeah, so I moved. And that's the reflective essay topic that I used in my English essays and in my Afrikaans essays too. So a nice tactic I used, I wrote the same essay in pretty much every exam. It was generic, like after hardship comes ease, you know, overcoming diff difficult circumstances. I wrote it in English, translated it in Afrikaans because, well, I felt like that was the best thing to do. But the English essays are a bit longer than the Afrikaans essay. So I had to amend that Afrikaans essay, change up the stompy quite a bit because, well, if you put it on Google Translate, it doesn't give you the best possible translation. Um, and chuck in some nice uh, metaphors and personificasi, literasi, assonansi, you know, just make it like, you know, pop. You know what I mean? And yeah, uh, that's what I did. And it was basically the story. And you guys can steal my story if you want. And yeah, because I mean, at the end of the day, you're just an exam number, right? When they mark your matric final exams. And yeah, I went through a lot of hardships, lived in Randburg, like Fairland for quite a bit. You know, being a very extroverted, really goon, really like your battery is going to die. Sorry, so unprofessional for this video. Yeah, I uh, went through quite a bit, you know, being an extrovert without any friends. It, it can get a bit challenging. Uh, yeah, having new teachers coming from an IEB school to a CAP school. That was really hectic as well. Difficult relationships with family members. Yeah, life wasn't the best. I also went through like a small breakup. So yeah, I battled quite a bit, but uh, in the end, I took charge of my life. I you know, started going to the gym, took my academics a bit more seriously, read more about spirituality. And yeah, I just tried my very best to improve my circumstances and it, it worked. And yeah, I, I did have a tough time at the start in Joburg, but I matriculated reasonably well. Uh, I was the valedictorian at my school. I put on like 10 kilograms. I'm a very like smallish kind of guy. Uh, so yeah, I used to weigh like maybe like 56 kilograms, man. I was, I was very, very small, maybe like 1.73 meters tall. So you can imagine like, that's not very tall. It's like, like kind of like average height, below average weight. So yeah, man, put on a bit of muscle on me, got a pretty nice average in matric. Yeah, things just worked out. And I listed all of this in, in my essay, got into my good university. Well, my good university, my dream university. Didn't get in though because um, yeah, it was, was a bit expensive, got a bursary at another one. And yeah, like that was pretty much the story. And I followed like the introduction, like the whole move being uprooted from, you know, my nice little community in Dubs. Uh, in the body, I just talked about like gym, about school, getting into university. Um, I just put some pieces about my own hardships and I concluded with, well, now I'm, I'm a lot stronger than I was, you know, the move wasn't ideal, but I'm still alive. I'm still standing. So that was my reflective essay. And I wrote that essay like throughout grade 11 in matric and it consistently scored like 46, 47, 48 out of 50. So yeah, 
you can do something like that if you want. Sorry, this video was quite long. Thank you so much for watching and yeah, hope my battery doesn't die soon enough. Okay, cheers. Thank you guys for watching. Love you all and yeah, hope you're doing well. Cheers.